Hi everybody, welcome to Dice Up the Classroom, Roll Out Learning. I'm your host, Ryan Reed. I have created a wonderful new fun gamification, appification game I want to talk about today and see if you would love to use it in your classroom. It's a wonderful way that combines Steam, gamification, app smashing, and just a little bit of other uh, play if you get my drift. Check this out. Now, we've all seen dominoes. Dominoes are little boards made out of glass, wood, paper, which have little bitty dots, or pins as they're called, on each one to verify number, in this case two or one. Now, some people have used these several times for math exercises. One example would be taking the numbers right here. Of course, two plus one equals three. Or you could also go 2 minus 1 equals 1, or 2 times 1 equals 2, so forth and so forth. You even can do them in fractions. An example, of course, would be 1 and a half, or 2 over 1, or just simply 2. Then, of course, you could add or subtract each one of these dominoes. However, I've come up with just a little bit of a different way to do this using a little bit of my appification here, using dominoes and apps. A little bit similar to my app dice, but with a little bit of a change here. A teacher can create their own dice using stickers, paper templates, or anything, and then do it as a simple game of dominoes, where of course, as they call it, the boneyard, where students, of course, pick a domino at random and then flip it over. The dominoes, of course, get flipped over, and each one of them have a different set of apps, either in conjunction with each other or in one and the other. And you can do these a couple of ways when students pull over these app dominoes. An example would be taking the one domino that has got sticker on on both sides and then adding it. Then, of course, adding it with Google Drive and IFT. An example of students would could be here is when they create a stick around puzzle they can upload to Google Drive to create an if recipe that once a file has been uploaded to Google Drive the teacher can get a, an alert and then of course they would have to solve the puzzle make some corrections and then send it back in Google Drive and then the student could get another recipe alert from if to complete the new puzzle but of course you can also do this by subtracting you could say that you have to take out using the sticker on puzzle would if the and must create an app snatch, you would just create and stick around uploading to Google Drive, or completely getting rid of both of these apps and just using if the and Google Drive to give people a little bit more imagination when they're creating their lessons. You also can multiply it too, or you can use both Google Drive and stick around in conjunction, or you can actually do it to where you have to use stick around twice in your complete app smash and then complete it with Google Drive and if the. There are hundreds of combinations you can do this with fractions. You even can divide. An example would be that instead of using stick around twice for your lesson along with Google Drive and if that you have to do is you only can use half of that. So you would, of course, do a little bit of reduction here where stick around plus stick around here only does once. So you have to use stick around as your main complete lesson for your app smash. Of course, upload it to Google Drive and then do the a text recipe alert if where the teacher will get an alert that they have uploaded a new file to their Google Drive. There are hundred ways to do this with this type of uh, domino game here of simple add-up subtraction like anything else. But wait, there's more. If anybody remembers the wonderful fun game Shut the Box, where people roll a type of dice, and if they get their number, either by multiples of two or more, can then take each one of their pegs and put them right into the box, and you keep going until you're able to shut the box. In this example, similar to using dominoes, where you would roll dice, and if you get a five or a six or a two here, and you would put these in, use the same here with an app dice here. In this example right here is I have my apps already put on my template on app dice in which they would roll.
this is a wonderful way to create a little bit of competition gamification when it comes to app smashing and, and a few other ways to do a lesson or project because the students then are not in charge of the randomness and they have to, of course, use their creativity to create their app smash or lesson creation. In this case, if it was me here, since I have both TouchCast, Shadow Puppet, and Audio Boo, I would pretty much just create a full slideshow in Shadow Puppet and then do a narration like I was doing an audiobook in Audio Boo, and then I would share it doing a final touch cast using various images from there to use my VAPs, and then take the touch cast, save it to my camera roll, or share the main link with my classroom. It'd be a nice way to create app smashes and throw in just a little bit of a change in learning because if you give students an option to create when they are given the hand that they are dealt, they will amaze you in education. These are just a few examples of how you can put a little bit of app domino into your curriculum and try to, of course, dice up the classroom in different ways using dominoes, app dice, app smashes, recipes, coding, and a few other ways. Give it a try today and see if you can add a little bit of app domino to your lesson. That's going to do it for this lesson on Dice Up the Classroom. Be sure to look for me on Twitter at Ryan7Read or leave a comment here on YouTube or on my blog. And I'll see everybody later.